the USS Philadelphia, CL-41, a Brooklyn-class light cruiser of the United States Navy, stands as a testament to the nation's naval prowess and commitment during pivotal historical periods, notably World War II. Named in homage to the city of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, it became the fifth ship to bear this honor. In an intriguing turn of events, during the 1950s, the USS Philadelphia was recommissioned into the Brazilian Navy and rechristened as the Almirante Barroso, further enriching its narrative. The genesis of the USS Philadelphia's journey began at the Philadelphia Navy Yard on May 28, 1935. Its construction marked the start of a remarkable journey that would witness its transformation from an inert mass of steel to a formidable naval vessel. This process reached its culmination on November 17, 1936, with the ship's grand launch. The occasion was graced by the presence of Mrs. Huberta F. Earl, the First Lady of Pennsylvania and the wife of Governor George H. Earl III, who served as the ship's sponsor. On September 23, 1937, the USS Philadelphia was formally commissioned at Philadelphia, setting sail under the command of Captain Jules James. The interwar period saw the ship undergo essential fitting-out procedures and shakedown operations. Departing from Philadelphia on January 3, 1938, the cruiser embarked on a shakedown voyage in the West Indies, undergoing further alterations in Philadelphia and additional sea trials off the coast of Maine. However, the USS Philadelphia truly found its place in history during the tumultuous years of World War II. The onset of the war in 1939 marked a turning point, and the cruiser, now part of the U.S. Navy, was propelled into a flurry of operations. In the aftermath of the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor on December 7, 1941, the USS Philadelphia set its course for the Atlantic operations, arriving in Boston on June 18, 1941. The ship commenced neutrality patrol operations, patrolling waters from Bermuda to Halifax, Nova Scotia, as a measure of vigilance. One of the remarkable moments during this period of the war was the involvement of African-American mess men aboard the USS Philadelphia. In September 1940, 15 mess men wrote an open letter to a newspaper, decrying the unfair treatment of African-Americans in the Navy. Their protest highlighted the prevalent segregation and the limited roles assigned to African-Americans within the naval structure. The incident drew widespread attention and protests, contributing to subsequent discussions on the partial desegregation of the armed forces. As the war intensified, the USS Philadelphia steamed into various theaters of operation. Notably, the cruiser played a pivotal role in Operation Torch, the Anglo-American invasion of French North Africa in November 1942. Serving as the flagship of Rear Admiral Lyle A. Davidson, it became a part of the Southern Attack Group landing troops and tanks in Safi, Morocco, significantly contributing to the success of the operation. In 1943, the USS Philadelphia continued its active involvement in the war. Supporting the invasion of Sicily, the cruiser provided essential gunfire support to advancing ground troops. The Battle of Salerno in September 1943 was another significant moment where Philadelphia's artillery played a crucial role in supporting troops as they stormed the beaches. Post-World War II, the USS Philadelphia underwent a series of transformations. It stood out as a symbol of naval might during various key moments, including the return of President Harry S. Truman from the Potsdam Conference in Europe. The narrative of the USS Philadelphia encompasses its transformation from a vessel named after a city to a symbol of the nation's strength during the challenging times of World War II. Its engagements and contributions in the war and beyond reflect the spirit of the naval forces and their vital role in safeguarding the nation's interests and upholding the values of freedom and justice.